Hi lovely people out there, bringing you this week's tarot card predictions is Rashmi, your tarot card reader. Let's begin with Aries. Aries, sailing in two boats is not a great idea. So this week, make that choice. Plus you are stressed. You're stressed over something and it could be because of, because you have to make this choice. So uh, breathe. So try and do some exercise, do some yoga, go in the morning for a morning walk and try and meditate a little if you can with that rose quartz crystal. That's important. The rose quartz crystal will help you relax, will help you decide, make that choice, that love choice. That's important for you. And also um, at the work front, keep a low profile. You're doing well, but um, keep a low profile. Do not expose yourself too much. Low profile will bring you better result. Taurus. Taurians, too much work, overload of work pressure, and something going wrong somewhere because there is a card which is saying you need to tackle something on your work front, which is nothing major, but you will be able to look after it and spirit is saying improve the situation in fact spirit is saying the situation will improve even if you don't do anything about it things are going to get better for you and listen to your heart so take advice from your heart that means be intuitive listen to your intuition Gemini let's see what's in store for you mood swings so Om Namah Shivai is your mantra Chant Om Namah Shivai, light that incense in your northeast direction. This will help you overcome these mood swings. Also, you are feeling trapped in a situation and that's why maybe the mood swings. And uh, something is going to come up which will help you, which will help you uh, get things under control. That feeling of being trapped and fearful and doubtful, that is going to be over this week. So that is good news for you, Gemini. Cancerians, do not decide anything impulsively. Introspect. Weigh the pros and cons before you get into something. Yes, and for that, I suggest that Tiger's Eye is a very good um, crystal which will help you take the right decision and hold your vision. So, uh, do it your way, definitely, but you have to make the right decision. And to control your emotions this week, you need to relax a bit. You need to chill a bit. Hear some peaceful and calming music. That really helps. Let's see what the cards are saying for Leo. Leans, some negative planetary influences are going to be warded off this week. Uh, what you need to do is in your south zone, you could light a candle in your south zone at the time of sunset and try and chant Om Shri Hanumate Namaha. He's the God who helps you overcome obstacles. So pray to him. And one card says a target will be achieved and you and your loved ones are safe. So overall, it's a good week. Virgo, let's see what the cards are saying for you and what spirit is saying with you. A jade crystal is going to bring about harmony in your life so uh, normally it's, it's a green crystal and it's either a light green or dark green crystal this is actually very powerful for you to balance your emotions balance what's happening in your environment balance even relationships money is not too good so conserve those funds and look after your health this week pay attention to your health this week love is great in fact love is in the air so librans Let's see what's in store for you. A new project around the corner. Wow. So something new is starting up. And uh, there's a card saying, in fact, Spirit is saying meditate a bit because something new, you're entering a new phase. You need to actually meditate. And by meditate, I mean decide in by being cool and calm. Take your time, but plan well and allow new experiences to come into your life. So this is a period when maybe you're socializing more especially this week and you making new friends so it's a good period and do not trust anybody don't be very gullible this week that's important for you Libra Scorpio Scorpions take advice before you 
enter a legal battle or an argument. Take advice of a senior, that's important for you. And time to release negativity from your mind. There is too much of clutter or negative thoughts. You need to let go of that. Those of you who are single, there is a soulmate coming around the corner for you this week maybe. So that's, uh, that's a great message for you all. And pardon those who do wrong. Yeah, so be magnanimous, be big, be large hearted this week, Scorpio. Sagittarians, let's see. Appreciate the small things in life. Sometimes even little things give you joy. So, and also a thing of beauty is very a joyful feeling. So appreciate the beautiful things, appreciate small things and feel joyful thereof. And let go of the past, let go of resentments which are holding you back in your path of happiness, in your path of finding yourself. So letting go is your mantra for this week. Very, very important. Students are doing very well. So you will be happy with your children. They're bringing you good results and all is good. Capricornians, time for changes and time for new beginnings. Now, when it's time for changes, it's your southwest you need to energize. So southwest, keep an amethyst crystal. Now, if you don't have an amethyst crystal, just keep normal crystals or pebbles in your southwest zone. And you need to be more adaptable this week because it's time for changes and tolerant as well. And you have the Empress card, which is beautiful. So abundance is coming to you. So those of you who are married and are in a marriage, it's very happy times, something good is happening and those of you who are not will be taking a step towards uh, a union. And be assertive, assert yourself in your work front. That's important for you this week. Aquarius, let's see what is in store. What is Spirit is saying? Spirit is saying trust. So uh, this week you need to trust the person who's closest to you and even your closest work colleague in the work front because unless you delegate and trust you are not going to go forward this week especially when it is regarding a particular project and you have the magician card which is great it's like you're weaving your magic it's like you're waving the wand for success yeah so you just think it and it's going to happen so it's really a good uh, week and also a card says and spirit says that leave your worries aside because things are going to turn out really fine for you. Last but not the least, Pisces. Do not trust anybody explicitly. All that glitters is not gold. By anybody I mean somebody in your environment, do not be placing your trust completely in them. And wait, a good period is coming to you, a good a period for good health as well as rejuvenation is coming to you. So just be patient and hang in there. And a wish is also going to be true this week for you. So that was for Pisces and that's all. And I will see you all next week.